Good morning, children. Hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to continue with the lesson, Dorothy meets the Scarecrow. Before we begin, I just want to ask you some questions. What was the name of the little girl in the story? The name of the little girl is Dorothy. What is the name of the pet dog? Toto. Why do people fix scarecrow in the field? To scare away birds from eating the crops. What is a scarecrow? Scarecrow is a human shaped figure made by stuffing straw into the clothes. So students, in the last class, we have seen that Dorothy is going to the Emerald City. But the scarecrow is not aware of where the Emerald City is and who is Oz. So let's continue. Please turn your book to page number 13. Oh, said Dorothy, I'm sorry for you. So Dorothy is feeling sorry for the scarecrow. Why is she feeling sorry? Because the scarecrow doesn't have brains. The scarecrow is stuffed with straw. It does not have brains. And the scarecrow doesn't know about O's. He doesn't know where is the Emerald City. So Dorothy is feeling sorry for him. Do you think, he asked, if I go to the Emerald City, please underline this word, Emerald City, Emerald City. So, Emerald City is a town in Austria. So, the scarecrow is asking Dorothy, if I go with you to the Emerald City, the O's would give me some brains, is it? I don't know, she replied. So Dorothy is telling, I don't know about it. Come to the Emerald City with me and Toto. You can ask the great O's for a break. So Dorothy is telling the scarecrow, come with us, come with me and Toto to Emerald City. And you can ask the great O's to give you a brain. What if he doesn't give me one? So the scarecrow is asking Dorothy, if the great O's does not give me a brain, then what will happen? You should try anyway, said Dorothy. You have nothing to lose. So Dorothy is telling to the scarecrow, anyways you can try. What's there to lose? You are not going to lose anything. That is true, said the scarecrow. You see, I don't mind my legs and arms and body being stuffed because I cannot get hurt. So the scarecrow is telling, I don't mind anyway. You see, I'm stuffed with straw and I cannot get hurt. So there's nothing to mind. If anyone treats on my toes or sticks a pin into me, it does not matter because I can't feel it. So the scarecrow is telling, I don't get hurt, I don't mind, and if somebody sticks a pin into me, it does not matter because I cannot feel the pain as the scarecrow is stuffed with straw. Dorothy listened carefully and nodded. Please underline this word, listened, listened. So Dorothy listened to the scarecrow carefully and she nodded her head. She was amazed to see the scarecrow walking and talking. So Dorothy was amazed, okay? Dorothy was amazed. What is the meaning of amazed? Surprised, no? She was amazed. As you can see in the picture, she is amazed to see that the scarecrow is walking and it is talking. But I do not want people to call me a fool 
and if my head stays stuffed with straw instead of with brains, as yours is, how am I ever to know anything? So the scarecrow is telling that people will call me a fool because I do not have brains. I am stuffed with straw. I don't have brain like you. And I don't know anything. I understand how you feel, said the little girl who was truly sorry for him. So please underline this word, understand. Understand. So Dorothy is telling, I understand what you are telling and I feel sorry. I am sorry for you. If you come with me, I'll ask Oz to do all he can for you. So Dorothy is telling to the scarecrow, if you come with me, I'll request, I'll ask Oz to do all that he can do for you. Thank you, he answered gratefully. So what is the meaning of gratefully? Thankful. The scarecrow is thanking Dorothy. Dorothy, Toto and the scarecrow walked to the fence. They climbed over it and started walking along the yellow brick road towards the Emerald City. So as you can see in the picture, Dorothy, Toto, and the scarecrow, they climbed up the fence and now they are walking along the yellow bricks towards Emerald City. Toto sniffed around the straw man. Please underline this word sniffed. Sniffed. What is the meaning of sniffed? Means to smell. So Toto sniffed around the straw man. He growled as if he suspected there might be a nest of rats in the straw. So Toto growled. What is the meaning of growled? Means producing some deep threatening sound. Dogs produce some kind of sound, right? Growled. As if he suspected there might be a nest of rats in the straw. So he was suspecting that there is a nest of rats inside the straw. He was behaving in an unfriendly way because he did not know the scarecrow. So Toto was behaving in an unfriendly way. Why? Because he did not know the scarecrow. Don't mind Toto, said Dorothy to her new friend. He never bites. So Dorothy is telling the scarecrow, don't mind, Toto never bites. Oh, I'm not afraid, replied the scarecrow. Please underline this word, afraid, afraid. So, so the scarecrow is telling, I'm not afraid. He can't hurt the straw, so he cannot bite, he cannot hurt the straw, so I'm not afraid. Toto, be nice, said Dorothy to her dog and bent down to pet him. So Dorothy bent down, she pet the dog and she told Toto to be nice to the scarecrow. Then she picked up her basket and they began walking again. So she picked up her basket and then they started walking towards the Emerald City. Turn to the next page, page number 14. Do let me carry the basket for you. So the scarecrow is telling Dorothy, please let me carry the basket for you. I shall not mind it, for I can't get tired, said the scarecrow. So the scarecrow is telling, I will not get tired. Please let me carry the basket for you. I'll tell you a secret. He continued as he walked along. So the scarecrow is going to tell a secret to Dorothy. Please underline this word. Continued. 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 There is only one thing 
in the world. I am afraid of. So, scarecrow is telling, I am only afraid of one thing. So, what is it? Let's check. What is it? Asks Dorothy. Is it the farmer who made you? So, Dorothy is asking the scarecrow. Are you afraid of the farmer because the farmer made you? No, answered the scarecrow. It's a lighted match. So the scarecrow is telling, I'm not afraid of the farmer, but I'm afraid of a lighted match. Now students, why do you think the scarecrow is afraid of a lighted match? Because the scarecrow is made of straw and straw burns easily. A lighted match could kill the scarecrow. So the scarecrow is afraid of a lighted match. Okay, students. So what is the moral of the story? That we should always be humble, kind and help each other okay thank you so much